Bo! Welcome back to the next part of a learn English with Bose with me. Oh my god. We'll start doing the exercise number one on page number 14. Now. Alright. Let's read again the instru instruction. Look at the photos. Okay, five photos. How do you think these people are feeling? Use the adjective below means the adjective we have explained. So now you can know the vocabulary. Okay? What do you think they are feeling like that? Okay, so let's start with the picture number one. Um, picture number one. You can see that it's a boy sitting and uh, biting the pencil. Maybe he's doing the test. Um, he is a bit of uh, irrit con confused. Yes, he's a bit of confused because the exercise may be so difficult for him to do. Must be he he must be uh thinking about something, thinking about the 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 the, the exercise. Also, I can I I I can see that he might be uh he might be fed up. Okay. He might be fed up because the, 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 the situation here it is the text. And uh it is quite quite strange, quite difficult to him, so that he cannot uh think so fast as usual with the easy exercises. So maybe he is upset, maybe he is confused, and maybe he also feel irritated. Maybe he also feel irritated because yeah. You 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 can see here he, um, feeling a bit a little bit of irritated because quite annoyed okay quite annoyed with the exercise because too much or maybe too difficult so irritated irritated annoyed okay all right uh irritated annoyed and confused with the picture two picture two you can see that a man sitting really boring really boring and i cannot decide what's gonna do next so he is quite really um a bit depressed because like your feeling is going down okay also maybe he's feeling homesick he's feeling homesick because he has spent too much time going abroad or going somewhere that is far from the house and he he, he feeling uh miss the house miss the his house so he feel homesick maybe like that or yeah depressed and homesick okay Photo three, photo three. It is a woman with an really big eyes and up with the her eyes open, open really big, and her mouth also. I think that he, she is feeling really shocked about something. Shocked, yes. Upset, maybe upset. Hmm. Worried, yes. Maybe she is feeling worried too. Um, upset, afraid, and shocked. Okay, upset, afraid, shocked. Photo four. Photo four. It is a woman is biting her nails. Sitting with next to maybe uh, next to the plane, the door, the 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 window of the plane. She's looking out. Uh, she's looking at the air. Okay, sitting on the plane and biting her nails. Maybe it shows that she's really afraid about something. Maybe the height. Okay. Um. Also feeling nervous. Yes. Afraid and nervous, okay? With the photo 5, photo 5, it is 
tells you, shows you a woman is holding a cup, a trophy, a trophy like a badminton. Yes, she is playing badminton because I saw on the record. And the trophy, like she has won the the badminton competition, and she's got she's real she 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 feels really um satisfied, satisfied yes, um with the result with the 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 the, the, the trophy. Also, uh, she feels really delighted and pleased. Yes, proud, pleased, delighted. Yes, look at her face. Shows that she's she feels really in, exciting with the trophy. Excited with the trophy. So delighted, pleased, and proud. Those are the words describing about her feeling right now. Delighted, pleased, and proud. Okay, so we have done the exercise number one, and we'll be right back with the uh, exercise number two, or maybe we'll do it now. Is it, does the tape long? Okay, so maybe we'll do it now. Uh, we'll do the listening. Or maybe we'll be right back with the next part of the learning. Let's, we'll say don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.